Nintendo has messed up a lot of their series. Paper Mario. Um, there's got to be more than that. Series like Paper Mario, Mario Party, Star Fox, and arguably Metroid and Mario sports games as of late have all had some very mediocre entries. It seems to be a pretty common theme with Nintendo. Some series become beloved and then fall off, hopefully temporarily. But the odd part about it is, the styles they established in the beginning were so great that it seems like an awful lot of work and a big risk to change what they've already created. And people loved the old games, so it seems like changing it to something really different is stupid and pointless. So why does Nintendo ruin their own series? And in some odd way, is this actually what they should be doing? Hello all 406 of you, I'm Red Quan, and why does Nintendo mess up their series? Let's look at some of these series a little closer up. Paper Mario had a terrific first entry, which was followed up by an arguably better second entry in the same style. But after those, the series went in a new direction as a puzzle platformer, then back to more of an RPG, but with some pretty major twists to the battle system that were pretty unanimously hated. Mario Party games were always pretty fun, and extremely competitive party games, until Nintendo decided to get rid of the competition one day, even though that was what made the games fun in the first place. Star Fox games were fun and easy to pick up, until Star Fox Zero made the most complicated control scheme possible, and really the weird games on the GameCube weren't the best either. Metroid Other M was a follow-up to the Crazy Great Prime Trilogy, and took out many of the aspects people loved and Metroid Prime Federation Force was just another blow to fans of the series who were eagerly awaiting the next real entry. And then Mario Sports Games. Why is it just tennis now? They kinda just got less good. All the series were going along fine, making great game after great game, until one day Nintendo decided to change up the gameplay that people loved so much. Why would they do this? Is this just Nintendo being Nintendo? Well, what's the biggest problem in video games? Microtransactions? The Sonic fanbase? Red Quan videos? Those are all big issues, but the biggest issue as far as I can see is the lack of innovation in game variety. There are so many games that are so similar, and it's just annoying to have to play games that feel like the same thing over and over again. There are so many games jammed into one or two genres. Like how many shooters do we need? And don't tell me Battle Royale is a genre. It's a game mode. It's a stinking game mode. And while Nintendo doesn't fall into the category of making way too many shooters, within their own series they can sometimes overdo it. For example, Zelda needed to change things up with Breath of the Wild because people had become too tired of playing Zelda games that worked the same way for too long. But for the most part, Nintendo is among the best companies in video games at keeping things fresh and providing a variety of things to play. They usually don't have to do anything drastic like Breath of the Wild, because they usually are trying to change things up all the time. They don't let these things become problems in the first place. And that's what this all seems to come from. Nintendo seemingly ruins their own series in an attempt to keep them fresh. Nintendo rides out one system for a while, then doesn't see any fresh ways to build off it, and takes a completely new approach. Sadly, that new direction seems to anger fans more often than not, but at least they're trying to do something to keep the series fresh. Nintendo thought people would begin to tire of the way the series were going, and so they tried to spice them up, but oftentimes people don't want their series extra hot. But is this really bad? Sure, messing up series people love isn't a great tactic, but trying something new is. People might think they want the same old style of games, but maybe it is for the best that Nintendo keeps trying to surprise us and make new and exciting stuff to play. Maybe if they got the same style for the last three Paper Mario games instead of Super Paper Mario, Sticker Star, and Color Splash, people would be begging for a new direction for the series. Maybe if Star Fox came back on the Wii U and played like the old games, people would complain they just repackaged stuff from the 90s. Maybe if Nintendo had made Metroid Prime 4 instead of Other M, people would be looking for a good old story-driven spin-off. It's easy to think we know what we want, but honestly, maybe this method really is for the best. Nintendo is messing up the series we love for our sake. Be grateful. But it isn't quite that simple, I don't think. Because while I'm pretty sure Nintendo is just trying to keep the games fresh, and I do think that's what's for the best, some series, Nintendo's bigger series, never seem to have that problem. Like, has Zelda or Mario or something like that ever had a really bad entry when they tried something new? Not that I can remember. So what this whole Nintendo ruining their own series thing comes down to as far as I can tell, it is an attempt to keep gameplay fresh for players, 
And while this should in theory be a good thing, as it makes it hard for things to get stale, for some of Nintendo's less important series, it can instead just make a bad entry. Well, I'm Red Quan. What do you think about bad entries in Nintendo series? Is mixing things up Nintendo should be trying to do, or do you honestly not really care about this at all, and are still confused as to why this needs to be a video? I'm sort of in the latter, actually, not sure why this is a thing. Anyways, I'm Red Quan, thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. Goodbye.